Hey y'all. Okay. It's been a few days since I've did a video. Um, same old stuff is going on. Same old, same old distractions everywhere. And I'm just stopping by to just share with you where I am on this awakening journey. Again, there's nothing new under the sun. And our ancestors, thousands and thousands of years ago, left us clues about what's coming for us as well. The same that came for them. Or not came for them, but a natural occurrence that happened so many thousands of years in between each other. Next month, April 8th, we're having this once in a lifetime alignment of several planets. Coupled with this comet that they call the, I think the Devil's Comet, comet that we will actually be able to see with our naked eye, naked eyes, next month, along with the um, eclipse. In addition to that, our sun is really active with CME um, coronal mass ejections coming at us hot and heavy. We've been bombarded with um, radio radioactive particles, filaments, whatever you want to call it. Something is occurring as we speak, and it has nothing to do with religion and God. Not in the way that um, we've been taught about what God is and who God is. What I believe right now is that we are actually living in some type of matrix dimensional system. Almost like a prison planet. Now, are we actually on the Earth? Or are we someplace else? But we're taught that we're on Earth. Now, that would really mess with your mind. If you've lived your entire life thinking you're in one place only to wake up one day and say, I'm not where I thought I was. And everything that I've been taught or told is a lie. And that, that's kind of how it feels like. I, I, I understand that everything that I've been told is not completely true. There may, there may be some truth to it, but not 100%. And I think that is the awakening. I think that is the awakening to ask questions, to think outside the box, to 
question everything. That's what I think the true awakening is. And these beings that are controlling everything now, they've done this by artificially creating an environment to where they can harvest our energy to keep them alive. How do we stop this? Now that we have awakened to a lot of what has been going on with us, maybe not fully understand everything, but enough to say, hey, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm not liking this program that I'm in. How do we get out of this dimension, this matrix? How do we unplug from this? Do we do it all collectively just by acknowledging, hey, we're in a ma matrix. Hey, this is some kind of freaky, dimensional, crappy stuff. Is it that we all just need to say, no, I realize what's going on and I'm not going to participate in this mess anymore by simply saying no. You know, I look around at, at you know, say for instance, the, the, um, the illegal immigrants that are coming in, pouring into, into our country. And yes, I, I have all the empathy and sympathy in the world to help my fellow man. If these people are truly needing assistance and they're fleeing horrible conditions in their own country, yes, come. Yes, come. But I fully believe that all the folks that are coming into this country, they're not running away from turmoil and, and bad situations. They're coming to America for the benefits. I'm almost tempted to put on some different clothes and pretend I can't speak English and come across the border so I can get a $10,000 gift card, so I can get free housing, so I can get free food, so I can get free medical care, dental care, eye care. It's unjust what's being done to America. It's, it's very clear, it's very clear that America is being taken down from within. Can you say Trojan horse? This has all been pre-planned. But why? But why? I'm sure it has a lot to do with keeping control, keeping the masses afraid. And these beings are, they're losing their grip. So they're pulling all stops out to keep their hands or to keep their foot on our neck. So what if we all just said no? We all stood up and say no more. I'm not taking your pokey poke. I'm not 
doing whatever you tell me to do. I'm doing the complete opposite of what you're doing. And these people are pouring in to the country. Why can't we just say no? We the people say no. Shut that border down. No more. The government is supposed to be working for us. We the people. Are we the people happy with what's happening right now? Absolutely not. I know I'm not. So why can we not all collectively just say no? I like that analogy again, a table. And all the fat cats all lined up around the table smoking their cigars, eating caviar, their big fat Kobe beef steaks and whatever. And here's us underneath the table on our hands and knees with the table on our back. What if we all just stood up? Nope. Table's over. Topple's over. Control's over. 11-11. It's time for us to stay, stand up <laughs> and say, nope, 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 nope. And on a final note, I'm going to close this video out. There's going to be a lot of stuff popping, a lot of stuff happening, especially around April 8th and maybe shortly after. Do not be afraid. It's going to get bumpy, but please, folks, don't be afraid because that's what they want. They want us to be afraid. Do what you can to prepare because things are going to shut down for a bit. It's not going to be food. It's not going to be water. It's not going to be medical supplies. Things are going to be broken down for a while. Do what you can to fill in those gaps right now. Yeah. Anyhow. No fear. Anyway. Stay in that high love vibration. As always, keep your vibrations high. And I'll talk to you guys later. Ooh, 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 ooh. No fear.